Done and done and fucking done! Fuck you! 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 I'm done! I'm fucking done with your bullshit game. I'm done. This is bullshit. W what's going on here? What the fuck do you actually mean? What the hell is this? This is dumb. This is stupid. Why are we doing this? <laughs> I'm in danger. Are you struggling to win on FIFA because your team is really bad? This team fucking sucks. Do you need coins for a cheeky new team? I need you can head over to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. And if you use code McShell, you'll get a 5% discount. This move like on, did it, bitch. Okay, guys, um, FIFA 20. Not playing that today. So, boys, before we get into this episode and talk about FIFA 16, you know, like I've done with the... Uh, what, what FIFAs have we done? We've done FIFA 15. Uh, and I think 19 we went back on. But yeah, before we jump into this, lads, uh, I, I will just say I was actually planning on playing FIFA 20 today. I was going to make a FIFA 20 video. Today's video was meant to be a Semido video, uh, the objective, but lads, I, I couldn't do it. I literally, I was losing my shit. And you guys are pretty thinking, like, Michelle, we would have loved that video. I, I, I did, nah, 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 nah. I mean, you would have enjoyed it, but there's no way I'm sitting through uh, and, do, and doing that video. I, was, I literally was losing my mind. I can't play FIFA 20 in a minute. It is so mind-numbingly dull and boring and shit and unfun. So yeah, I recorded for about an hour just doing the objectives and I didn't get a single objective done. I'm, I kid you not, I played for an hour. Not a single objective done. I tell a lie, I got one objective. I got one BVA goal in an hour of playing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just couldn't do it. I, I can't play the game in a minute. And on top of that, the added stress of thinking, oh, I've got not only got to make this fucking objective video, I obviously have to edit through what probably would have been like a five or six hour. But like, it just was too much. I couldn't do it. I thought, fuck it. What can we do today? And I was like going through some ideas of what we could do today. Uh, and I was going to get the Akin Fenwa hero card. But I thought, all right, that would be a fun episode. You know, nice lighthearted one. Don't have to take them too seriously. Uh, and he's extinct. So I can't do that. Yeah, I decided FIFA 16. Fuck it. You know, because I. I was thinking about it, I was thinking about FIFA 20 and how bad it was, and it made me think of FIFA 16, which in my opinion is somehow worse than FIFA 20. I kid you not, this is the only FIFA uh, that, at least from when I when we were playing it, this is the only FIFA that I remember being worse than FIFA 20. This FIFA, when I played it, I fucking hated it, alright? There was just so much wrong with this game, lads. So much wrong with it. The, the meta of this game, if you guys remember, uh, at least towards the end of the game, was five back. I kid you not, five at the back and park the bus was the meta of this game. So I just remember this game being painfully slow, painfully boring, uh, everyone was playing this shit five back drop back uh, meta, and on top of that there was no content. There was nothing to fucking do on this game, there's no champs, you know, there, there was rivals, and it was fuck draft. So I remember at the end of the game, literally all people were doing was trying to get 190 fuck drafts and stuff. No one wanted to play this game, it was so bad. I hate it here! I also remember long shots being really broken in this game, like that was like, like the only way you could score in this game was just hitting these ridiculous long shots and shit. I don't know, I remember hating this game. It, yeah, I thought we'd play it to compare it to FIFA 20, I was just curious. Now what I will say about this game, lads, is I did actually like the transfer market. The transfer market in this game was really good because like players were really cheap, you didn't have to spend coins on this game and up until this point you pretty much had to buy FIFA points or coins to get a reasonably good team like you literally because you know any inform or special card was just stupidly overpriced so you pretty much had to buy coins so uh yeah this FIFA you didn't have to do that and in fact I think I've only ever spent FIFA coin uh FIFA points sorry on one FIFA and it was FIFA 14 and I you know and and this is so yeah it was nice to to have have a decent enough team on this FIFA, if I remember correctly. I think I have a good team on this one. I think it's okay. I'm not terribly sure where I was going with that, but uh, yeah, I was just saying like, with the, with the previous FIFAs, you literally had to buy FIFA points, and I, I don't like spending my extra money on the game. I'd rather buy other games, you know, if that makes sense. Like, I've already paid 50 quid for the game, and I want to 
pay more money if that makes sense. Some of you guys, you know, buy FIFA points and it's up to you, but for me, I just don't really like doing it. So ever since FIFA 14, I've not really done it. Anyway, anyway, we're getting off topic. So boys, without further ado, let's jump into the team. I remember my, like, I had a pretty good team. I, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure I have Inform of Bamiang, and I, I think I have Pink Con, yes, I do. I have Pink Con and Blianca. Uh, as for the others, we got, oh, we got, we got a little tots there, Mkhitaryan. That's five star week for, oh, hello, that's a fire card. Got to be illegal to look that good. Midfield's a bit shit, but that was pretty good. Um, I'm not sure why we've got a strike for playing that. I guess there's not really... I guess we needed a severe link. Defense is a bit wacky. Who the fuck is this guy? Vise. Oh, I remember this card. Uh, he was a bit overpowered, to be honest with you, if I remember correctly. But he doesn't look great on paper, but he's alright. I don't think there was many German or, or Bundesliga right-backs, I think. I think that was what we were lacking in this game. So I went with Vise. We've got Neuer, Boateng. Okay. Okay. Not, ner not a terrible team, boys. Not a terrible team. But yeah, that's not a bad team. It's a lot better than my FIFA 15 team. If you guys remember watching that video, like I had fuck all on that account. I had absolutely nothing. So this this is actually a nice nice little surprise. So with this FIFA, I will say like I you know I wasn't very good at it. I think if you guys have seen my record, it's pretty shit. Yeah, we, we're, we have a negative record. I was not good at this FIFA. I mean, I'm not good at like the you know these recent FIFAs or anything, but I was a lot better at you know a lot better at them now than I was with with these ones. Obviously, I was like a lot younger and shit. So yeah, to have this team. I I think it's actually pretty good. I, again, I didn't really trade on this account. I, this is just from playing games, pretty much. This is a Bamiyang, lads. One of my favorite cards in FIFA. Is he a three-star skiller? That is mental. I didn't even know that. Oh, I just, that reminds me. This inform of Bamiyang, that reminds me, boys and girls. Because with the pink coin playing, okay. A bit of a story time here. So if you guys did play FIFA 16, uh, you guys will probably remember the, the um, we had like these tournament things. It was like a tournament mode. I can't remember what they're called. You had to play tournament and you would get, you know, uh, pretty much a gold pack, I think it was. Uh, and then EA, right towards the end of the game, uh, released the pink cards in the tournament mode. So uh, the tournament mode was completely underutilized previously. But yeah, EA released the Konoplyanka pink card if you won it once. Um, then they released the Abamyang if you won it twice. And if you won it three times, I think it was a pink Royce. I might be mistaken, but I think it was a pink Royce. Now, the problem with this tournament is you could only enter it eight times. And obviously that is, that's rage inducing. That's just like, that's criminally harsh, you know? We don't care. Let me tell you, right, <laughs> let me tell you, we don't care. If you could enter it in limited times, I would have got all three of the cards, but you could only do it eight times. So uh, we was I was grinding that out, just trying my best. And again, like I was saying, with the meta of this game, five back uh, and park the bus. That's what everyone was doing. I wasn't, I wasn't going to join that bullshit meta, similar to FIFA 20. I'm not playing that possession-based, whore shit that everyone else does. I'm playing FIFA the way I like to play. I play attackingly. So I was playing right into the hands of these guys that were just absolute scummily playing and you know I, I, it didn't end well for me. So I think it was our third to last try. We did end up finally getting Conor Plianka. Uh, so I, I only had two attempts left and we got Conor Plianka, so at least I got one of them. Uh, and I just I wanted that Bamiyang so badly. I wanted it so bad because I loved Abamyang in this game. As it, like this card is amazing, I loved it, and I used Abamyang all throughout this year. One of my favourite cards in this game, easily. We managed to get to the final on the following try after completing the Konoplyanka. So we got to the final. We come up against a five back, and I lost one nil, and I was not happy, boys. I was not happy. We had one try left. I got to the final again. I think I played, if I'm not mistaken, I might be, this might be complete bullshit, but I'm pretty sure I played the same guy, because I remember him having another five back, and he beat me 1-0 again. I fucking lost my shit. These part the bus fuckers on FIFA 16 made me lose my shit, and here is the, the evidence of what happened on that fateful day, okay? It was not a good day. I don't know if you guys, you should be, I mean, I just fucked up my cat. I just launched it across the room, multiple, I just frisbeed it at the wall like six or seven times. I broke loads of shit. I was, I went mental. Right? You think my rages are bad now? I was going, I was going mental. You tripping, bro. <laughs> So yeah, that's a little story time for you about this Abamyang. So that's why we've got this Abamyang and not the the beautiful pink one that would have been so would have been so good. But you know, it's not to be. It's it's okay. But yeah, now at least EA with their objectives and stuff like that, they don't give you like the amount of you know it's time limit. It's not you can only enter it x amount of times. That was some bullshit that EA pulled. I didn't even care about the Royce either. Just wanted that Abamyang, and I got to the final twice. 
in a row, and then or three times in a row, really, because we've got the Compianca. I remember this Vidal lads being literally one of the most broken guys because long shots were so good in this game. I just remember scoring so many long shots without Arturo Vidal. Arturo Vidal was my was my Veron in this FIFA. He was the long shot king for sure. I absolutely loved this Boateng. I remember loving Boateng in this game because he was just so aggressive, so strong and physical, very quick as well. Boateng was so good in this game. I would go through the transfer market and go through like overpowered cards. In fact, now we will do that. I just don't really remember any cards that were specifically broken in this game. A Bamiyang, I remember being really overpowered. Um, I loved informed Daniel Sturridge in this game. If it, I think it was this FIFA. It was. It was this FIFA. It, it, uh, Daniel Sturridge had this inform I absolutely loved. Yeah, like I was saying, like this FIFA just really pissed me off. So that I don't really have too many too many positives to say in terms of uh, in terms of like overpowered cards because like I just have I don't really have too many fond memories of it. Oh Lacazette, I do remember Lacazette being overpowered. I wasn't a massive fan of him, but I do remember him being really good in this game. Lacazette, this was like the first FIFA that Lacazette was really overpowered in. I thought if I'm not mistaken. Oh my God, Marquisio. Oh, I remember Marquisio so well. His normal card was goated. That that tart is so good. How much is that? Two seventy five. That that. Oh, Lucas Perez. We talked about him in uh, on um a couple of days ago. I was saying about he had a really overpowered tots one year. That's this is it. This is this is Lucas Perez from yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about it in terms of special cards. Not seeing anything else too crazy here. This stuff was Costa though. Looking pretty, Helen. That's a very, very sexy card. I'm just going to quickly scroll through gold cards, uh, see what we got. Juan Fran, backer. I, I remember hating this card. <laughs> yeah, yeah two, two star weak, but two star skill moves. Jesus, backer. Dust yourself down, sort your life out. What's the matter with you? There's all of those, like, broken, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. They're, like, the broken over, like, the Abarbos and stuff. Obviously, the Abarbo wasn't that good in this game. I don't it was even in this game. I don't really remember, but. Come on, where are they at? I mean, I don't, I don't even... Was there a card? Like, this game was so slow and boring, there might not have even been any really broken cards. Uh, Ronaldo and Messi, hello. <laughs> I mean, they're quite uh, overpowered, you might say. Anyway, lads, we will jump into a couple of games with this team. Fingers crossed it goes a little bit better than the FIFA 15 video, because I remember that like, that was awful. <laughs> that did not go well. I was getting spanked. I was not having fun at all. So hopefully, and, uh, and believe me, boys, I'm not, very, I'm not very hopeful here. Hopefully, I have fun here. Again, I remember this game so sucking so bad but hopefully you know anyone that is for some reason playing FIFA 16 today isn't a boring five back drop back part the bus bitch uh, lads for some reason it's telling me I can't play seasons this could be a problem this could be really bad. We have got online tournament, but I just don't think anyone's going to be playing. There are no opponents. Oh, fuck. Please, somebody. I'm obviously not getting an opponent here. Why can't I play seasons, though? Sorry, an error has occurred, and we are unable to retrieve your seasons. Day. What does that mean? Sorry, oh, fuck you is what that says to me. I am flabbergasted. Friendly seasons, online single. Please, someone's got to be playing an online singles match. I say that like like someone would do, but please, please somebody. Da, 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 I just wanna play FIFA 16, cause FIFA 20 is so trash. Somebody please play this shit. Somebody please play this shit. There must be someone playing FIFA 16. There must be some weirdo out there that's playing this shit. Come on, just one person. Seven minutes of trying to find a game. Seven minutes. Yeah, this is fun. Boys, to no avail, we cannot find a game. I don't know, really know what to do. Do you think if I do a fuck draft, someone will play it? I've got 4K though. I need 10K. I don't want to, I didn't want to, no. 5K for discarding him. Shall I discard Jonathan Tarr to play the fuck draft? Nah, not Jonathan Tarr. What about Guy Mero? Fuck it. I'm going to have to, but like, if we want to get some gameplay, it's got to be done. Still need 700K for fuck's sake. <laughs> Who else can I even discard? Have I got... Butlins. Jack Butlin was really broken in this game. This was, yeah, this was the FIFA, wasn't it? Uh, from zero coins. All right, so sorry guys, didn't want to sell you, but I have no choice. Cockalan is the newest member of the team. Um, let's do it. Let's do a fuck draft. There might be some fucking weirdo playing fuck draft on FIFA 16, right? Because it's the only mode that anyone really played anyway. Well, we're not really blessed with choices here, are we? We got the five back. We can be a little meta bitch if we play the five back. Let's, you know what, boys? Let, we're going in balls deep. <laughs> going three back. Wish me luck. Okay, boys. We got Marcelo Totti, um, who looks pretty decent. 
Well, Ronaldo, I'm just gonna go Ronaldo here, I think. Ben Yedda, <laughs> you, you revolting little shit. He's had the five star week for all that time. <laughs> you can't go away. Fuck off! Torre Oh, come on, look at that card. Yeah, yeah, Torre. Um, I. Vidal's been Vidal. It's gotta be Vidal. Come on, BVA goalie. BVA goalie. Oh, oh, now we're talking. Diego Alves. This card was always broken because he always had super high reflexes and diving. Even on like his normal card, he had like ridiculous diving and reflexes. Oh, we got the we got the man of the match storage. I don't think I used this. It was the one. It was the 84 inform I used. I do need Barcher for the chemistry, but I kind of want to take that storage. But we are gonna just we are gonna go for the chemistry. 90 Di Maria. Hello, hello Di Maria. Still only a two star weak foot, but. Not too bad. We do already have Ronaldo though, but I could. We could go Alexis Sanchez and sub him on. Freestyle weak foot. I'm gonna do it. Arsenal Alexis Sanchez. Jesus, that brings back some. Oh my god, Moses is so <laughs> What are you doing here, boy? What are you doing here? Look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. Neymar. Oh, Messi. You've gotta go Messi here. Gots to go messy here. Look at that chem. Boop. We need some BVA midfielders. We got we got Modric. 90 De Bruyne looks pretty good though. Marquise, that's what I was talking about, boys. On a normal card, 81 pace. Love this card. Hi ho Walker is four star, four star. What a god. Fuck, I'm gonna. Is there a way that I can uh fuck boys? I'm pretty out my house itself here, have I? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll we'll just sub them out. Other than that, the team's okay, other than these two shit players that you know, are out of position. But the defense is all right, it's not too bad. We've got Messi and Ronaldo. We've got Bakambu, he's a bit overpowered, a little bit broken. Um, yeah, so lads, I guess, I guess we try and find ourselves a game in the foot draft. Oh shit, here we go again. Come on, somebody's got to be playing this game. I cannot be the only person in the entire world that's playing FIFA 16. Lads, I, I, lads, I, I can literally can't find a game. It's been, I mean, how long have we been searching? Like, literally just discarded half my team to try and get a game. Uh, I guess, like, I, I obviously don't want to end it here because it would be a bit dead if I just go through the menus. I, I will just have to do single player. <laughs> Are you serious? I just, I just want to see what the game looks like. That's it now. I, I, I just want to show the people. Oh, and I just got it off the team, didn't I? You fucking hell! That's not too bad. It could be, it could be much worse. The chemistry could be worse. All right. Well, just doesn't matter anyway, because we're literally playing on like what we playing on like world class difficulty. I'm just gonna want to play a quick game of single player. It's gonna be dead. It's gonna be shit. But at least we get to see what the game looks like. It looks quite alright. Looks better than uh, FIFA, FIFA 15 did aesthetically wise. Play it over, play it over. Mkhitaryan. Oh, let's go, boys. 1-0. Okay. Okay, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, I, I was expecting it to be slower. I just remember this game being really slow. I guess for the, compared to FIFA 15, I guess compared to FIFA 15, it is quite slow. Like, FIFA 15 is like the passing. You put, you put, like, I hate FIFA 15, by the way, when we recently played it. It was so shit. But when you play a pass, literally, it just goes... Like it's just the, the fucking passing is like, it's so inaccurate, but it, the ball just flies. Okay, good tackle. Oh, this is so dead. What dif what difficulty are we playing, man? What, what is this? What is my PC doing midway through a game? That's a cracking volley. What's going on? <laughs> okay. What is this episode, boys? This is so shit. <laughs> Do you see that volley, though? To be fair, I know we're playing against the fucking bots. Who is for a finish? On the weak foot. It's filth. It's pure, unadulterated filth. Bamiang running through, destroying defenses. He's got them. Sly tackling. My own player is. Uh, this game is so boring on single player. This would be so much more fun online. Okay, well, um, weirdly enough, lads, um, and you guys, I mean, I started so well. That was in like, the first 10 minutes of the game we scored those goals. I haven't had a chance since then. The the, the AI has rapidly improved. And not that it really not that it matters too much, because um, we are only driving to see. I just want to keep the clean sheet. You know what I want. Is that what you want? Give it, give it to me. Why, sorry, why is the AI passing it around the fucking back? Even the AI is programmed to be a cunt. Nah, Hayes. Oh, Bamming in the back post though, if he gets there. Look at that for a ball. Look at that. Oh. Oh, that's uh, quite honestly, that is my first chance ever since I scored in the first 10 minutes. This has been the most dead game of FIFA I've ever played. And that's saying something. I know it's single player, but Jesus Christ. Oh, don't you dare. 
Don't you dare. He's on so Fuck this game, fuck this game, it's worse than it, it's worse, it's already worse than FIFA 20. This is bullshit, defence! No, no, I'm not having that! Fucking, and what was the keeper doing? Noya! Straight at him! I will fuck you up! That's my clean, that's my, that was my only, that was gonna be my only positive, was the fact that we were gonna get a clean sheet. That was, that was the only good thing. I just gotta make sure we win then, I guess. Hit that first time. Oh, oh, rebounds! What's going on? Shoot! Yes! Right, we've got to get the four goals. We've got to get the four goal dance because that's the, literally it. Who scored that, by the way? Raul Garcia. He's not, even, he's not even meant to be in the team. I'll take it. Come on, we've got to get the four goal dance. We've got to work with constellations here, boys. Play a Bamiyan. Yeah. Run, Mookie. Yeah, here we go. Mookie, you've got to score it. Oh, we'll finish, Mookie! Come on! Four goal dance, lads. I, again, I, this this AI is, like, so... It's just rigged. It plays, like, shit in intervals, and then it's good for, like, patch it. It's just weird. There's no wonder no one plays fucking single player when it's this shit. All right, I'm gonna go cry. All right, that'll do it, yeah. Blow that whistle, mate. Blow that whistle. We got some dancing to do, and you guys are probably wondering, Michelle, are you actually really gonna do a fucking four goal dance against the CPU? You, you're goddamn right I am. All right, we've had nothing positive in this game. Couldn't even get a clean sheet. Uh, right, yeah. Four goal dance, boys. That's that's the only good thing. Well, that about wraps things up, lads. I'm sorry that I couldn't get an online game, but it's literally not a single soul playing the game. You know, it is. It's like four years old, you know, it's not like I'm that surprised about it. But we got games in FIFA 15, so I'm a bit, I don't know. For some reason, I can't play Seasons. I reckon if I could have played Seasons, we could have got a game. But I, I expected someone to play the fuck draft, at least. I feel like someone's got... We're in quarantine, you know? I was expecting people to be bored and shit, but no, not to be. But yeah, like, as an overall conclusion of this game, uh, it, it's better than I remembered it. No, not that, again, it's not like it's, um, like it's saying much, because, you know, I didn't really have high expectations of it. And we were playing single player, so I obviously my opinion is a little bit... It's a little bit biased, you know, it would have been, if I'd get, if I'd like played a real opponent and he'd spanked me with his full team of season team, like it did in FIFA 15, I'd have a very, I wouldn't have anything good to say about it. But yeah, it's, it is very, it's very reminiscent of FIFA 20, I will admit. Like the pacing of this game, it feels almost identical. The way the passing is and the dribbling and stuff like that, obviously it's a completely different game, but the way that the, the pacing of the game feels so reminiscent of FIFA 20 and it's just not, like, FIFA needs to stop taking itself seriously with the pacing. Like, make it arcadey. It's okay. It's okay to have it at a million miles per hour. I'm totally okay with a fast-paced FIFA. I think, I think I speak for most people when I say that. This is a video game. It needs to be fun. Forget realism, all right? Have realism in areas that it matters. The pacing of the game is where it does not need to be realistic. Make the game fluid, fast, attacking. That's all we want. We want a fun game that's worth playing all year round. At the minute, FIFA 20 is not. I literally am only playing it because I have to, because I need to make videos to make money to provide. But yeah, it was okay, you know. It was Again, I remember it being shitter, but it's just, I don't know. I come to these games because FIFA 20 pisses me off. So whenever I whenever I do a retro episode, it's because FIFA's really fucks me off. Now the problem is, uh, as much as I would love to dive into FIFA 17, lads, uh, because that is the next one on the list, if you like, uh, I'd love to play it. However, I, I don't know my password to the account that I played FIFA 17 on. So if I do play it, it it's going to be weird. So I, I'll try to figure something out the next time we play another retro FIFA. We could always do FIFA 14, but the servers are down on that. So it would have to be, or we'd have to play, you know, like some single player shit. And like, does anyone really want to see that? I feel like it's only worth playing with the ultimate team. So we'll see about what we do in the future for the retro stuff. But uh, yeah, it's just nice to, it's nice to reminisce sometimes. You know what I mean? It's nice to have a little bit, a little sprinkle of nostalgia, even when the nostalgia isn't particularly good. And in this case, for me, FIFA 16 was not a good time, all right? And still, had a bit of fun. It was all right. Anyway, boys and girls, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, smash that like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace. <laughs>